Welcome back to Mike's Man Cave and welcome back to another WeberQ video. Now, I was just going to do some videos on my WeberQ and last week I went and bought all these brand new accessories which I was going to do reviews on. I did spend a small fortune because in Australia all this stuff is quite expensive. Like these are WeberQ barbecue tools and they were nearly $33. I've bought a new cleaning brush, which was $22. And I have bought a scraper to scrape out the firebox. And that was $10. I've also picked this up on Facebook by Swap and Sell. And it's a cover for the Q1000 series barbecue and stand. And I think these are about $60 or $70, but I think I got this for about $30. Still brand new in the box, never been used. I think the seller actually bought this for another barbecue and it didn't fit, so his loss is my gain. So overall, I've got well over $100 worth of accessories that I've bought last week for my Weber Q. Now, let's go and have a look at my Weber Q barbecue. Here's our Weber Q barbecue, and if you follow my channel, you would have probably seen the unboxing video of this and possibly the Weber Q review, as well as a few grilling videos where I've actually used this barbecue. Now, if you're wondering what the background sound is, it's one of our dogs, and I think the neighbor's dogs are barking at something over there. So I'm not sure what's going on. He's keeping an eye on things, like always. But well, let's get back to the barbecue. So the other night, after I actually purchased all the accessories that you just saw, this barbecue caught on fire while I was doing a pork roast. And as you can see, it does not sit straight anymore. There goes the dogs. As you can see, it no longer sits straight as it actually melted. Now this is the mounting bolt, as you can see there, where it mounts up on the frame, which is unfortunately made of plastic. And this got so hot that it actually melted and that collapsed. So that melted and burned through the frame and it's now sitting there. And the barbecue ended up resting up on the plastic. Now, as you can see, this barbecue is quite clean. And if you do follow my channel and my barbecue videos, you know that I do keep my barbecues fairly clean. Any of the stuff you can see in there is still from when I did the roast pork. I had the um, trevet or whatever you call the thing in here that the pork roast was sitting on. I've taken that out and the pork roast ended up in the bin because it actually burned. So when this started to overheat, flames were coming out here. So I did open this up and it flared up. So I closed it and shut the gas off immediately at the gas bottle down here. Okay, I turned that off. And I just left it after that. I couldn't do anything else. And the fire went out. But by this time, this was so hot that it literally melted that and burned through the frame. Okay, so you can see what's happened there. And there. Now the other side's still fine. It did overheat a bit. You can see where it sort of melted and sunk down a little bit. The other issue I've noticed, as you can see there, some of the um, paint or whatever that is, enamel, is actually bubbling up here and along there. All the rest seems to be still good. Now, in relation to warranty, I did contact Weber and I spoke to them on the phone, their customer service line. They seemed to be quite helpful. They asked me a whole heap of questions, which I answered, and then they said they would send me an email. Now, they have not sent an email yet. It's been about four days since I spoke to them. Now, if I don't get a response back by tomorrow, I will call them again and see what's going on. Now, they also asked me to reply to their email with some photos. Now, I've taken some photos, and like I said, the email that I'm supposed to respond to has not arrived yet, four days later. So I'm going to ring them tomorrow, unless the email turns up today sometime. Now, I've also done a little bit of research, and apparently this is quite a common problem with these Weber Qs, which is a little bit disappointing, because I absolutely love this barbecue. 
And um, I guess I'm going to still keep using it if they replace it under warranty. Now, I'm not sure which way I'm going to go if I do not get a warranty replacement. So we'll see how that all goes. Now, consider this part one because I will keep you guys updated on how we go with this weather queue problem. So I'll be making further videos of the outcome of this whole process of the warranty claim. And I will also be making further videos if I get a replacement or if I don't get a replacement. So keep an eye on this channel if you're interested in the outcome. In the meantime, do me a favour, give me a big thumbs up for this video. Don't forget to smash the subscribe button for more videos from Mike's Man Cave and more videos relating to our WebAQ problems. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.